Hey everybody, welcome back to my garden. It is um, August 24th and I want to bring you over and show you what the Kakuta looks like right now. I've got a couple big suckers on there drying out for seed and I want you to take a look at how large they've gotten. So as you can see, the vines are starting to dry out over here in the front bed where I get a ton of sun and look at these suckers. I don't even know how much these weigh. These are heavy. You can see them down here. I let three of them go to seed. And about the time I started doing that, the vine pretty much stopped producing, which is what I expected. You can hear it. It's quite hard. Um, I'm, I haven't decided if I'm just gonna let this hang here, though I'm afraid it's probably gonna snap. It's starting to dry from the top. I've definitely had better um, luck with drying gourds if they are left on the vine. Um, but anyways, I'm really excited to pop these open once they're dried out and just have a wealth of seeds for next year. Um, another little tip I wanted to let you guys know, if you are harvesting kakutsas and you're trying to figure out what to do with them, last night I made a um, delicious vegetable lasagna. The recipe was really great. I made a few changes to it. I'll take you up to the kitchen um, and explain what I did. This is the video that I used for my recipe, uh, zucchini lasagna by Downshift Ology. I've used this before for regular zucchini lasagna and it was fantastic. All right guys, here we are in the kitchen. These are all the peppers I picked this morning. The garden's looking incredible right now. But anyways, um, I had the ones I used for the recipe were a little bit larger than this, but this is a great size because really all you need is a vegetable peeler. Um, in the video, she uses a mandolin. I don't own a mandolin and I'm extremely clumsy and I'd like to keep my fingers because I really need them for sewing. So safety is always a better bet for me. But anyways, this is how I did it. Um, you know, I just chopped off the top of the kakutsa and those, I cut them into smaller manageable pieces as wide as my lasagna tray. And then I simply just sliced them off. I did get rid of the layer that had the skin, but once we start getting down into that nice white flesh, these make a great substitute for zucchini in, in a zucchini lasagna recipe. I thought about making a video, um, you know, of my actual recipe that I did, um, but you know, I don't like taking credit for other people's work and I really only made a few adaptions to her recipe. What I did was I laid all of them out like this on um, a cookie sheet covered in paper towels and I salted them. That was the first step I did and I let them sit there with the salt so the water would ooze out um, while I was preparing the meat and whatnot. Um, and then I just blotted them with paper towels before I put them into the lasagna itself. But um, I used, um, for the meat, I used half ground chicken and half um, hot, so hot Italian sausage and it came out fantastic. And um, everything else with her recipe, I just followed right along as she said. And I think I baked it at 400 and it probably took like more like 50 minutes for me, a few extra minutes. Um, but otherwise it came out really great. Um, I've used this recipe one time before when I had a whole bunch of zucchini in the garden a few weeks ago and it was phenomenal then as well. Um, but the, and the only difference really that I noticed between the kakutsa and the zucchini is, you know, the zucchini has a, a really high water content. So once you start to slice it up, you know, it really just falls apart. Whereas these actually are a little bit denser. They were almost more like noodles. So I had to cut through it with a knife um, just a little bit more, but that was really the only difference. It was absolutely delicious. The family totally loved it. Um, like I said, I had a kakutsa that was larger than this one. It was similar in size to um, the one that is in my when to pick your kakutsa video. So probably about twice this long, about this wide around, right before it starts to get seedy. Um, and if I got a couple strips that were like seemed really seedy, I just tossed them to the side. But that one kakutsa was enough for me to do a whole lasagna. So that is fantastic. Anyways, um, I hope you guys try out the recipe. It's wonderful. I hope your kakutsa growing is going fantastic. Thank you so much for coming back as always. I hope to see you soon. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, hit all that stuff, blah, 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 blah. It really helps my channel out. But I love you guys so much. Thanks again. And um, take care.